Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Arbian Hardware, today we're gonna take a look at the best 240Hz gaming monitors in 2022 for less than $300 and for that you can expect a very solid gaming display that will improve not just your gaming experience significantly thanks to 240Hz refresh rate, it will also give you a competitive advantage versus the competition. You see, there is a significant difference in smoothness between a 60Hz monitor and one that can output 240. A 240Hz monitor is able to output 4 times as much information every single second compared to a traditional one and that creates a much smoother gameplay. But these monitors aren't just good for eSport and competitive first-person shooters. Some of these monitors also works great for other types of mixed usage, so whether it be entertainment and movies, photo editing and color grading, some of these monitors will definitely keep you satisfied. That being said, I think it is important to understand that with a limited budget comes a few drawbacks. But don't worry guys, I will be laying everything out for you, helping you pick the best high refresh rate monitor for your specific needs. And if you find anything you like, all monitors mentioned can be found linked up down below. Now as always, I will be leaving my personal recommendation at the end of the video. So first up we find the Dell Alienware AW2521HF. Let's cover the specs first and then dive into the pros and cons and figure out whether this monitor is for you. So Dell has fitted this one with a 25 inch IPS full HD panel with a 1 millisecond response time and 240 hertz refresh rate. Now thanks to the screen being relatively small, the pixel density is high enough making things look nice and crisp on the screen. If you don't know, IPS panels have for the longest time been considered the ultimate panel type when it comes to viewing angles and color range, however the downside is that they tend to be a tad bit slower than other types of panels and not really recommended for competitive gaming, but that is not true anymore. Nowadays you can get the super speedy 1 millisecond 240Hz screen without having to sacrifice rich colors and this monitor simply proves that. Color accuracy as well as viewing angles are excellent on this display. Now, while we do find some visible backlight bleed and weak contrast ratio, it shouldn't be considered a deal breaker as these are common sort of issues we do find in particularly any more budget friendly IPS screen. Now these issues are not too noticeable when gaming during the day but they can be a bit annoying when gaming in dark environment. So yeah definitely something worth having in mind at least. And what makes the monitor worth considering is without a doubt its fast motion handling and response time. A 240Hz will give you incredibly smooth gameplay. This can definitely give you a massive advantage versus someone that is sitting on just a 60 hertz display as you basically get four times as much information presented in front of your eyes versus someone with a 60 hertz panel. We also find FreeSync and Nvidia G-Sync compatible so you don't have to worry about screen tearing either. As I mentioned earlier, the colors are also great, however if you are a professional content creator, you may be a slight bit disappointed by the somewhat inaccurate colors and poor contrast ratio. Don't get me wrong here guys, colors do look fantastic, but if you are a professional, you may want to consider doing a calibration first. Lastly, when it comes to the stand and build quality, Dell doesn't disappoint here either. The build quality is simply fantastic and as for the stand, you get height adjustment, pivot, tilt and a bit of swivel as well. And if you couldn't get any better, as a nice bonus, the back of the stand lights up. Overall, a very nice quality monitor that nails everything in the gaming department. And if you ask me, a brilliant monitor for gaming and mixed usage. Moving on to my second recommendation and here we find the 27GN720-B from LG. This is a 27 inch monitor, so a slight 
bit bigger screen space here compared to the previous one from Alienware. It's not massive, but it is still a little bit bigger. In terms of resolution, we're looking at a 1080p IPS panel with again 240Hz refresh rate. Now 1080p on 27 inches will reduce the pixel density a little bit and this is important to have in mind. Now things will still look nice and crisp and the extra screen real estate compared to a 24 or a 25 inch monitor is also giving you a bit more immersion. So all in all guys, I wouldn't really consider this to be somewhat a bad thing. Furthermore, the response time is outstanding. Even the fastest motion will look incredibly clear and crisp on this display in both 240 hertz and at 60 hertz. And so even if you hook up, let's say a Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, for example, uh, things will look incredibly nice and sharp. Now, unfortunately, as with the Alienware screen, everything isn't bells and whistles. Blacks do tend to look a little bit grayish, which makes the monitor not ideal, again, for darkroom gaming. Now, generally, this is a common issue and a sort of a problem with IPS-based monitors. And if this is something that you do find important, I recommend that you take a look at a VA-based monitor instead, as they typically offer better black uniformity. And in this category, Samsung actually have a pretty good alternative worth checking out. And I have it linked up down below in case you want to do that. Lastly, the monitor also offers great reflection handling and it has a pretty high peak brightness of 400 nits. And so if you're spending most of your time in a bright room, that shouldn't be an issue at all. And so overall, very happy to recommend this monitor as well. Let's move on and take a look at my third recommendation coming from Asus Tough. This is the VG259 QM and let me tell you why I think you should consider this monitor. Let's start with the specifications. And in terms of numbers, at first glance, much looks pretty and similar with the previous two products. And what makes it stand out is its refresh rate of 280Hz. Now it should be said that the difference between 240 and 280 won't be major and you may not even be able to tell the difference but I mean if you're looking for the ultimate and the fastest and quickest monitor you can find for cheap this is definitely your answer. However the monitor is not just catering towards competitive gamers, it does also support VVR to reduce screen tearing for both AMD and Nvidia based GPUs. Another cool thing with the 259QM is the price tag. Right now it can be found for $289, which considering its specs and performance was completely unheard of just a few years ago. Now Asus is also selling a similar model in the VG25 lineup, but instead of the IPS display, we find a TM panel. Now TM displays are considered to be the king of screen types when it comes to speed and quickness, however with the downside that the do lack a bit of color range and viewing angles, which tend to be much better on an IPS. So what are the differences here? Well, mostly it comes down to response time, where the TM based one is clocking in at 0.5 millisecond, the IPS one is at 1 millisecond. So which one should you choose? Well, basically if you don't want to sacrifice slightly worse viewing angles for a slightly better gaming experience pick the IPS model, however if you want the fastest and quickest monitor on the market, sub $300, you want to pick the TN variant. And if you ask me which one I would personally consider, I would pick the one that offers the best mixed usage. And in this case, I would say that Alienware snags this one by just a margin over the other alternatives. It is well priced, it has superb ergonomics, it's got a brilliant screen with nice and rich colors, it does lack a bit of contrast and it isn't ideal for late night gaming but other than that it is the ultimate budget high refresh rate monitor under $300 that you can currently get your hands on. That is it guys, for any questions feel free to leave them down below. I will be back with a brand new video in just a few days. Thank you so much for watching, have a fantastic day.